Everybody, it's Evicta. It's time to eat and run here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Saturday, Mosh Pit. I hope your weekend's been going off to a great start. We're still waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes, although we do have a couple that are very close from this past week, and thank you all very much for making that possible. Also, shout out to Expression False 8290 for this inspiring picture of the day sent in here on the Invicta subreddit. Title thread was Invicta making my weight loss journey a bit easier. And man, oh man, what a view that is. Beautiful flowers and trees and the window and everything. And then also, of course, has the uh, has the monitor with the Sinvicta video loaded up. They also said, still working on my New Year's resolution to lose weight. Watching Sinvicta makes it easier as I can focus on his pain with the game and I can forget about mine on the treadmill. And that is just awesome. Thank you for that inspiring and wholesome meme of the day here. Picture of the day, expression false. I appreciate it. Keep up the good work and let us know about your progression. That's, that's truly inspiring. So... Here we go. Uh, you know what? Let's run it back. I, 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 I want to start out with a greed run again. That worked out pretty well for us the other day. And you know what? We're just going to run do it again. Uh, C Day is going to be Bravo Sierra Hotel Foxtrot Golf 2 Mike 3. Well, we've got the Star of Bethlehem, which is going to make this a very quick, uh, very quick greed run because uh, Star of Bethlehem does not do anything. Uh, we have we have Modeling Clay turned into Hamo Lacrie. I'm sure. Why not? Yeah, Star of Bethlehem is going to make this an absolute joke. And honestly, that's fine. That's two quick read runs that we've had this weekend. And, uh, you know, just it's just just more Isaac content. Um, we'll say that, uh, you know, Modeling Clay is not one of those items that I'm a big fan of, only because it's just so random that it's rarely ever, like, useful. Uh, but in this case, obviously, Hamel Lacker is going to give us a huge damage boost. And then on top of that, we're staying inside of these inside of the Star of Bethlehem aura, which is super OP right now, as you can see for the first couple of waves here. And uh, yeah, that might be one of the fastest first floors that we've ever had in any greed run ever. I mean, this is this is just embarrassing right here. Uh, you know, let's go Angel Deal. I haven't done an Angel Deal greed run in a while. And we have the Star of Bethlehem. We have nothing to worry about, really, honestly, man. I mean, like it's it's Saturday, you know. It's a it's I'm feeling good in the neighborhood. Um, I do want to get the mystery gift. Let's see what's inside the curse room real quick. I don't care about the soul heart, obviously, and yeah, it's good because we didn't get anything for that. Getting a little getting a little expensive now. So while we have this mini stone chest over here, let's. I don't I don't know if the secret room's here or not, but it can be. So it's might as well might as well try it out. All right, well. Was not worth it. Um, uh, it is tempting to get glass eye, obviously, because I want. Uh, wow, it turned into it turned into Hamilacri again. Is it locked by rooms? That's strange. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna take a risk since we are so far ahead on this run. Um, I'm, we might as well try for something crazy, and uh, let's go for the mystery gift and then go into the angel deal on the next floor. Say goodbye to the bean, just because I mean the bean is kind of whatever. It's strange that I, I can't believe that Hamilacria came back there. I guess it's locked to the to the room for modeling clay. That's something I've never noticed before. But man, oh man, what a start! Here we go. And look at that. We end up getting uh, we end up getting iron bar as well. So. Also turned into the uh, turned into the wooden spoon in there. Definitely would love to get some movement speed because that's one of the few things that we're lacking on this run. We're just gonna get Guppy's paw too. Good lord, man. Uh, I'm actually gonna stick with red hearts. There's no reason for us to go for soul hearts right now, especially with us having little Chad. And let's go. Let's get a key and go check out our item room since I know now that the rooms are locked. Oh baby, because I know that the that the the items that we get are locked here with uh, modeling clay. Now it is a little bit strange that uh, <laughs> it's strange that uh, Star of Bethlehem decided to not move for the rest of this. I think it's just not going to move for the rest of this run. Um, I think that's just how it goes in greed mode. But obviously, as you can tell, it's still going to give us a huge amount of offense here. We need to stop taking damage, but at the same time, I kind of am addicted to sitting in the aura. Of Star of Bethlehem. So while we're get before we get any further in this run, because we're already almost done with this floor, go over to last week's question of the episode, which was, "What is your thoughts on the Book of Shadows, S tier or Nah?" Is what I asked, and uh, I was surprised at some of the answers. I'm not gonna lie. The most upvoted comment came in from uh, shooting. Uh, I'm gonna say shooting high, aim low. 
6857, who said it's a really good boss killer, especially if you have an orbital, but I'd say it's closer to B tier for me. Which really surprised me considering that we just got knocked back onto the button. So that's cool. That's that's neat game. Um, I'm really surprised to hear that just because, like, obviously, if you have an orbital, like, the Book of Shadows is, like, the dream. You know, I mean, uh, the only the only, uh, only other invincibility item that you would want in that spot would be, like, say, um, the Unicorn Stomp. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna get me in trouble sitting here in, in the Star of Bethlehem aura, but it's the DPS is just too good to pass up, man. Who could who could pass up a sail, son? There we go. Down goes Chubb. We did take a lot of damage there, but we got a little Chad, so we don't really care. And oh my god. <laughs> okay. All right, you know, you can keep that game. Wow. Uh, I, I, I don't even know what to say about this start. This is a ridiculous start. Um, as much as I want to get mom's bracelet, we really, really need movement speed first. If we can get the two cents, I, I, I'll make you a deal. If we can get the two cents, I will go for... I'll go for mom's. I'll, I'll go for mom's bracelet, or the I guess the seven cents now. Like it doesn't matter. We're not gonna be able to get it. Um, yeah, that is a redonkulous amount of damage that we're gonna be doing. So the the plan there was I was gonna take mom's bracelet, and then obviously you know we have a way of getting in here without needing bombs, but it didn't work out like that. Second most, most upvoted comment came in from the Gilded Spoon, who simply just said, nah, just learn to dodge. Thank you, the Gilded Spoon. And last but not least, Roy Robinson with the third most upvoted comment said, it can be OP if you have a, if you have a surplus of orbitals, but not it's not a guaranteed take. Therefore, I'd say A tier. I uh, love the year, in, the year in review video, by the way. Thank you. Thank you, Roy. Uh, I am going to take Thunder Thighs here against my better judgment, but this is one of those times where I don't mind being super duper slow. Uh, even though we're like a lot slower than we were even when we started this run. And that's mainly because our damage is just so dang high. Like, it's not going to matter. That's Soul Heart while we're still flashing here. And, uh, yeah. I mean, we're going to be able to heal that up pretty quickly. And we're just going to heal it up right now, I guess. And also get our movement speed back. Good lord, what a start. This might be one of the hottest starts I think we've ever seen to a, to a greed run ever. And I mean ever. I mean, it's not even like I'm like forget about Montezuma's Revenge. We're not even going to need to use it. Like, is Star of Bethlehem the greatest start that you can possibly get in a greed run? It might be. <laughs> like, we're playing real fast and loose right now by staying in this aura, like all like ba basically permanently. But it's worth it. I mean, just imagine if we end up getting... I don't know how we hit there. Imagine if we end up getting, like, piercing shots. Stairway, I mean, I guess... You do get... You, you do get an angel uh, shop. Could take car battery, too. Man, just imagine Jello. Uh, I'm going to not buy anything, because I want to see what the angel shop's going to give us. We have Thunder Thighs, so we can just walk over these. And we might as well look for the secret room. We have four bombs. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Roy Robinson, and everyone who upvoted those comments on the question of the episode from last Saturday. Yeah, I, was, I was surprised to hear some of the discourse of, of Book of Shadows not being considered... I mean, being considered B tier. I think B tier is overly harsh. I think that that is... I think that's a little bit... Oh, wow, it's off the curse room. I think that's a little bit too harsh of a of a grade there on, on on an item such as the Book of Shadows because I mean it's a, it's a three room cooldown it's ultimate invincibility that doesn't last admittedly all that long but with orbitals come on it's better than B tier.
So the body is just going to give us a ton more HP, but we don't really need it. And to be honest, I don't think we need purity either. It's unlikely that we're going to be able to, to not get hit and really benefit from the purity aura. So as much as I would like, as much as I love both of those items, I don't think that we need them in this spot. Um, I legit think that we're better off saving this money for premium items in the shop. I reluctantly take fortune cookie only simply because there's nothing else to take. And since we're in here, we might as well check for the curse room again. But like I said, it's, it's unlikely that we'll be able to not take damage. Um, just because we are kind of forcing this star of Bethlehem play. range up there from the magician card. I mean, this is just... This is a joke. <laughs> uh, we don't really have a... We don't really have enough keys, unfortunately, to make the... Uh, make this possible. Although we could potentially buy some keys. I'll start Bethlehem. Saved us from contact damage there. It's very rare to see. Saved us again with that shot from Black War. I'm honestly shocked that Skolex lived through that. Oh, wow, block contact damage again. Yeah, we can actually stand toe to toe with these pink cages and just drill them down. I mean, Hallowed Ground's going to give us another overlapping, uh, overlapping Star of Bethlehem-esque type aura. So that's, that's just absolutely mental. I mean, for a half price key, it would be nice. Definitely want movement speed. And yeah, we'll take a little bit of shot speed too. Flat file. I mean, that would prevent us from having to pay the, the curse room tax. And honestly, let's go for four keys. Let's just, let's just full send it here. We'll send it with four keys. I'm game. The movement speed upgrade, awesome. Hey, we're getting everything that we could possibly want on this run. That bag of crisps, too. Lover's card doesn't do anything for us, and neither does that lover's card. Now, we could, if we wanted to, we could open that in there. By that, I mean the Justice card, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save the Reverse Justice card for the Angel Deal store, even though we only have three keys now. Um, I guess I could wait. Well, no, I can't wait. It's either now or never, so. There's a key in here. Got three chests. Okay. Definitely would love to get uh, Blood of the Martyrs. That is just a butt ton of damage on an already a pretty big butt ton of damage. Conehead. And more damage here coming in from the stapler. Good lordy. Happy Saturday, everybody. <laughs> Might as well check, see if the curse room's in here. Or the, not curse room, the secret room. Get the D twanky. I'm not going to do it to you. I'm not going to do it to you. We don't need to break the game on this run. I know we all love broken runs, but I mean, we're already pretty broken and we didn't even do anything. There's two little horns in here, apparently. Fortune Cookie still have yet to pay out with a soul heart. But Fortune Cookie, if you ever wanted to figure out why you were still on the bottom of the bottom tier, then there you go. You can call it lies all you want, Fortune Cookie, but you're still trash. I'm trying to save this uh, Ace of Heart, this Ace of uh, Ace of Spades here for a little bit of extra keys. 
Can I get a golden key? The magician card. How in the world did that not hit that other fire? Okay. There's eight headless horsemen. They are all already dead. My goodness, Immaculate Conception, sure. Mom's ring. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we need to. There's no. There's no need to break the game here. I mean, this is just the appetizer run, you know. Now I do. I, I am worried about what kind of bill we're gonna have to pay on the regular run. Twenty-nine cents, and yep. Yeah. Wouldn't make much sense to get that item. Thank <laughs> you. I mean, we're already maxed out, so we don't need Binky. Um, sure. Jesus juice. We're not maxed out on movement speed yet, so I wouldn't mind getting just finishing off our uh well, I wouldn't mind finishing off our movement speed. I think the seek rooms can be on the side in here, right? Yeah. We can also just skip this entire floor. But why would we want to do that when we can just simply destroy it in almost the same amount of time it would take to uh to walk out of here? Still zero soul hearts, by the way, fortune cookie. Just want to point that out. Those of you who think I was being unjustifiably unfair to fortune cookie by demoting it to trash tier. There you go. It's, it, it will never get more of an opportunity to pay out. Oh, wow. Look at that. Just treat into a free meal. Don't let that MSG screw up your head there, Mike. Nice block there again by Star of Bethlehem. Well, that's about as uh, that's about as a fast of start as you could possibly get. Oh my gosh! Good lord, man, this is just getting just getting stupid. Um. I'm going to save a little bit of money just so we have something to work with on the next on the next uh, angel deal. But man, oh, man. Just in a constant state of flabbergastery here. Honestly, give me Trisagian. Trisagian. Holy God. Trisagian with with this build is going to be absolutely bonkers. Because of the piercing shot in Godhead. And we need him to move away from the middle of the room, though, admittedly. And we also have that holy card, so... Well, there it goes. I was going to say, so we're at least protected if we do take some BS damage, but... That Greed's already dead. Good lord, man. That is the fastest, one of the fastest greed runs I think that you'll ever see here on the channel. Holy moly. Well then, uh, that will, that will be a good warm up here. Let's do a, let's do a, let's do a regular run now. And now's when the bill comes. I think nine Yankee Sierra Juliet, two kilo, November zero. Okay, so we have Butterbean. It's not Wait What. We're starting with Angelic Prism, and we've already taken damage. I've gotten too used to having, like, a machine gun for Tears Raid here. 
Yeah, I gotta, I gotta bring my mindset back to the fact that we are not in greed anymore. We are also not with that super mega awesome run. Yeah, Trisagium with Godhead is is just piercing. Any piercing shots with with Godhead is just OP. Love to get Champion Belt here to start it off. We're actually starting with very good stats, uh, good movement speed, good tears rate, good damage. It's for the start anyway. I mean, it's not like incredible damage, but it's okay. It's passable. Clown physics in full show here. I have Husky's haircut for some reason. Okay, we'll get a little, little parry action. Nothing, nothing super crazy. So if we could, if we can manage for champion belt, I would absolutely love that. Tower card at least is going to allow us to. Insta dunk old Dookie here. That goes old Dookie. I had I had my finger ready to go for the for the space bar in case one of those bombs came towards us. And yeah, we're just gonna get stapler and I guess we'll just head on down because we have nothing else to really spend it on. We have two well, well one and a half soul hearts, so we gotta be careful here. Where's the lost? So saw today that uh, <clears throat> Toho is releasing Godzilla minus one minus color. And at first I thought it was like a joke. Like when I saw it, I was like, what? I was like, oh, I get it. Someone someone made the movie in, in like, like the trailer in black and white. But then I found out, oh, no, this is an official Toho release. Like they went back and remastered the, uh, the footage like shot by shot to make it appear in like brilliant black and white and stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So, and on top of that, it's only showing up for one week only in theaters. So like, yeah, if there, if there was ever a reason for me to go back and watch Godzilla minus one, hey, get just, you, oh, you don't have to give me a reason. But I'm gonna, I, I mean, I gotta go see it. I have to go see it. It's crazy that minus one is now made over at the time it's recording anyway. It's already over a hundred million gross in the box office um, worldwide. That's like it's unbelievable. It's it's the highest grossing Japanese Godzilla movie of all time, and I mean, with like rightly so. Like you know, you you guys and gals have heard me rant and rave about it, but you, this is the first time that we've had non Godzilla fans like seriously go back and be like dude this movie is actually legit awesome it's like jaws plus godzilla like all the best things that you want out of jaws but also like a godzilla film and i'm like yeah it's it's a it's a masterpiece i definitely have no qualms with saying that it is it is by far i think the best godzilla movie ever made shin godzilla is it was my favorite but now it's now it's obviously minus one um and if you have not seen it yet, you really, really should. It's not often that I'll sit here and tell people like, hey, you need to go do this. But this is one of those times where it's like, you're going to be sorry that you didn't see it in theaters the way that it was meant to be seen and recorded and, you know, with all the sound and everything. I mean, it is, it is truly spectacular. It's one of those, like, you know, like, like I talk about Avatar, like I wasn't a, I wasn't like a huge fan of Avatar. I thought it was like, it was a good ish movie like i mean it wasn't a, it was not an original plot or anything like you know we've seen the same plot a million times over but the experience of what of seeing it in like 4d you know where they had like the they had like the 3d and then they had like the smells and all that crap like that was something that i won't forget um it that's what made that movie pop for me because i was like yeah this the plot sucks it's super duper generic but the experience of watching it in 4D um, was that that's what put it over the top for me. And minus one is the exact same feeling of I, I would greatly regret watching this and waiting for this to come out on streaming or like home media. Like, like that's that's something that I think that 
is a, is a big mistake. Even for the casual, if you happen to be a casual movie lover, um, it's it really is a masterpiece. You're like you're like imagine being able to go to go back in time and watch Jaws in the theaters when it first came out. You would do it in a heartbeat, right? Like that's a, that's exactly what we're the same thing here. Fortunately, we can't take any of these, so. Uh, uh. And Curse of the XL. Yep, I think that bill is coming due here. Bill is definitely. We're. I mean, we're not in. We're not in struggle bus mode yet by any means, because like we've got good items. But Curse of the XL is definitely part of the bill coming in to roost. Uh, it's just it's exciting as an old school Godzilla fan to like see this huge hype around our favorite monster and like you know I know that we've got uh, the new Empire new Empire coming out in, later on this year um, and you know and that's fine like I think the legendary Godzilla is fine it still just doesn't feel like a true Godzilla movie it feels like a Hollywood blockbuster like arcade version of Godzilla. You know, I I agree with with James Rolf and uh, uh, the angry vi video game nerd. I agree with him in that you know you can't call what on earth was that schmove there? Like you can't call a Godzilla movie like a Godzilla movie if it didn't come from Japan. And I do I I don't like being like that sounds like elitist and, and kind of purist and stuff, but like I do feel that way about this particular subject matter like a true oh my god items like a true Godzilla film was made in Japan you know but you know for all, all that said like I, I do enjoy the legendary Godzilla's I think that he I think that he's cool I like his attitude I like that uh, you know I like sort of like the arc that they've given him I've never really been hugely high on his look I've always thought that he looks like he's always kind of tired <laughs> Like he, like you know, like like in a forty-year-old like dad bod sort of way, he's like a kind of like he's big and lumbering. I, it is cool that they made him like more agile uh, for the new empire. Like the, they're making him like look actually like he's running and stuff, which is very weird to see. Um, and I do like I actually don't mind CG CG Godzilla. Like I think that it looks if done correctly, it looks fine. When not done correctly, like the nineteen ninety-eight Godzilla, that is. That's where that's where I draw the line of okay, this is this is not good. Ow. Well, okay, yep, yeah, sure. So remember how I talked about how like the game just kind of doesn't know how to handle physics whenever you get over one shot speed? Yeah. That would be a primo case right there. And a range upgrade. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely now starting to pay the bill for, for that first run because we've gotten literally no items on this floor. We've gotten none. I mean it was vasculitis and I don't even and three dollar bill. Like those are not items. And and, and dad's coin, hooray. You know. Like this and on top of that is an XL floor too, which makes this even worse. So I think that it's safe to say that we are absolutely paying the bill now for that first amazing greed run. And I'm not too happy about it because my mood went from I'm really really stoked about this. This is going to be a lot of fun to uh, curse the XL. All right, and uh, leave it to Isaac to just to bring that feeling all the way back down. 
would have really been helpful had we been able to get that um, Ouija board. The tears up, especially, but also like you know, being able to get goat head would have been nice. We have four bombs, but you're a very unlikely to get a payout. I swear to God, game. I used it. I saw the shot move away from me, and you didn't register. And no soul hearts. Oh boy. All righty. All righty. I think I know where the secret room is. Would be there. Hilarious game. Game's got jokes. So I believe that Monkey's Paw activates when he takes lethal damage. I think. No. So Monkey's Paw is not going to do anything for us. So we, we have to get... We have to get that, that half soul heart back. And we haven't even fought the boss yet. We fought one boss, but... I, I was thinking about using a bomb. We may need to use the bomb for offense. I'm gonna pop the Empress card. Okay, we're really banking on getting some help here from Parasitoid. I don't know if Butterbean can actually knock the peep's eyes away. Big slowdown by Parasitoid there. A glass eye, which is a good item, but not what we need. And, um... Yeah. And another curse the XL. Okay. So if anyone was actually like doubting whether or not we weren't paying the bill for that run, there you go. There you go. That's all you need to know right there. Back to back XL floors is truly horrific. For any run. So I went from being like jovial and happy to okay, this sucks to now I'm just mad at the game. Like now I'm just legit mad. Cause this literally is the game getting back at us. Okay, we could bomb our way into the store. We know there's not a greed fight because we see a mini boss. We see the mini boss on the map. Takes a compass. Soul Heart, the Reverse Hangman, which I remember what that does. Uh, oh yeah, it turns you into the Keeper. I mean, Fanny Pack wouldn't be a necessarily a bad thing here, but now I don't think that you gain health if you turn into the Keeper. No, you still you still stay as Isaac. Or Eden or whoever. So I'm trying to gain as much as much money as I can so we can at least get um we can at least get the uh anti pack. Lord knows we're gonna take damage because we haven't been getting stats at all, except for a little bit of damage in the last floor. Need for tinted rocks in here. Cannot afford to let Monstro get off the screen here. 
Parasitoid obviously is being a huge help. Even though our damage is not super great. What I hate about this room is that it doesn't let you look at the, like the entire room. So even if there is a tender rock up there, we wouldn't be able to tell. Not that it matters anyway, because we don't have no bombs to get up there anyway. Oh, there is a tinted rock right there. Right above that that skull. I'm pointing to the screen as if you can see my finger. It's right above that skull that's in the middle. That's on like this. It's right above this skull and that line. You can see it up there. So that's great. Um, Rotten Tomato honestly is not terrible here. It's not like the best item that we could get. Get a judgment. Now, I would rather have an HP upgrade than fanny pack. And what would be even cooler is if this judgment dropped like three bombs. So hard is acceptable. Ox spawns a bomb. And it didn't spawn a soul heart, unfortunately. We did get a death. Did get a death card though. Despite all this, we could still make boss rush. That's the that's the crazy thing because of the back to back XL floors. Um, and we actually now that I think about it, I need to stop lollygagging because we should try to get boss rush because we're going to need that extra item if we can get it the problem is that i don't we can't really rush too much here because we don't have the damage to just simply yeet mom like normally like put it to you this way normally when we find ourselves in this boss rushable position we find ourselves in this position because we're very strong and we're just blowing through rooms and and, and bosses this is not the case with this run because obviously obviously yeah i have no idea where to go here from this boss to that boss to over here. So in this situation, obviously that's not the case because we don't have the stats that we can back up just killing bosses left and right. So we can't necessarily be like, oh, we're just gonna go rush to mom real quick because we can easily kill her and then jump into boss rush and then full card out. That's not the case here. Diglett's helping us out and that's kind of the reason why I wanted to get Rotten Tomato we have to try for a soul art here. There's the toy definitely helping us out with the crowd control as well. A rotten tomato giving us that aggro um, ability is also very, very helpful because we don't have the damage really to be killing stuff ourselves, So we have to rely upon other things to do it for us. This is a horrible room. Okay, so we have three minutes essentially to beat mom and both visses. Now we can aggro them onto each other, and they, I, be I believe, they'll deal damage to one another. Marrow. It's regular mom. It's not red mom, even though it looks like her. I mean, she's literally red, but you know what I mean. So here's where I'm hoping that the ads will, will aggravate towards mom and stay away from us. And aggravate towards each other, too. There we go. Yeah, we need it. Like a Globin could deal some major damage to mom. This is me being seething mad right now. Get an angel deal. Oh, baby. I'm not going to say all is forgiven, but all is almost forgiven. 
Going with PH Dizzle here. We get a health up. Okay. Starting to feel a little bit better about the situation, but it's certainly not completely solved yet. I know that that seems like that's crazy talk. But definitely feeling better about our situation. Um, I'm going to stick with Butterbean. Butterbean's been doing an okay job at keeping us safe. It's not Butterbean's fault that the parries have been late. But with PhD now, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that we end up getting some major movement speed upgrades and tears ups. That's that's what that's my big that's my big want list is movement speed and tears. We do not need nor want little Loki. Maybe we can get this heart. Yeah, that allows us to go into the curse room. The fanny pack is still on the table here. I mean, technically, we can get all of this. Nice little, nice little trick here for Butterbean. You no, know, Butterbean's it's not, it's not trash anymore. Like it's once the once they introduce the idea that you can parry shots in the game, it's it's quite useful. It's not useless. Pretty much have to do these. I mean, pills, anything is what we're looking for. But obviously, Sacred Heart's going to be huge. Not only does it give us a movement, or a, uh, it gives us an HP upgrade, but also, of course, gives us that amazing, amazing homing shot. I don't know what hit me there. I, I was, I had parry on lockdown for that one, but so big turnaround on this one here. PhD, PhD is also, that is not an insignificant upgrade that we just got from Boss Rush. So Boss Rush definitely was worth it because it did give us another HP upgrade. And yeah, I think you absolutely take a little baggy here. Speed up, double speed up. It did, it did eat our world card. And honestly, I'm fine with that. Because movement speed is what we needed. And now we get perks as well. Let's take perks and lighter. I don't think we need monkey paw anymore. And we can finally go to this tenant rock up here. And you at your bottom dollar, I'm going to see what's inside this tenant rock. Four bombs for two soul hearts. We'll absolutely take that. All right. All right. I'm still not going to say all is forgiven because we earned these items that we got, but some of it's forgiven. This is like getting that high bill that we had and then like begrudgingly paying it, but we got overcharged and we know we got overcharged, but we're still leaving a nice tip for the waiter because they did a good job. That's what this run is. Now anyway, before it was just, I hate everything. I was half expecting to get another Curse of the XL. So you're hearing all the uh, all the lighter procs go off and kill all these blast assists everywhere. It definitely is worth our while to at least check to see what's inside of the trap rooms. Maybe not necessarily do them, um, especially if one of them is a mimic chest. That is because we have little baggy and you know replacing all those tarot cards with pills is quite a huge resource boost possibility to our stats um, our stats being resource of course we could play the sack room especially with the perks pill but at this point like i'm just i'm kind of like I'm still trying to come down from the high of getting Sacred Heart. After the very big low that we were on. Yeah, we absolutely take White Pony. Say thank you very much. And oh my gosh, it's an actual devil deal. 
Say thank you to Butterbean. You were a, a bean and a scholar. Curse the blind. Obviously getting flying here. Plus Conquest Pony, which has the, uh, that. It has Crack the Skizzle. It is super good. And I gotta say, honestly, like, good decision taking Rotten Tomato here. I know that that's being self-congratulatory, and I apologize about that. But it was a, it was a pretty good decision there. Um... You know, and that's that's just what bad runs it puts you like the struggle bus runs. You know, everyone talks about how they enjoy it because it kind of forces the strategy to to make its way out. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and argue with you about that. That's true. You know, we can't just be on auto mode and uh, you know and just face roll everything because it's like yeah, you do that, you die. Like if I didn't stop there and think about like, hey, by the way, you know. Rotten Tomato, yeah, it's not a stat up, but is this going to help more than possibly an HP up? You know, after mulling it over a little bit, I'd say, yeah. I mean, obviously I said, yeah. I don't, I'm not gonna get baited into a devil deal here. I very excitedly and willingly reject Stanley here. Happy we got Lusty Blood that's going to be huge with the Sacred Heart Multiplier. We have perks that we can use for Isaac and then and we can use it for Blue Baby as well. I know the game wants me to go and try to blow up all those purple fires. I'm just simply not going to do it. Gosh, there's a the tears up in the pool. Yeah, that that's one of the biggest PhDs that we've ever we've ever gotten. Other perks. I don't know if we got shot by did we get shot by the statue there, or did we get hit by the by the beam? I mean I guess it doesn't matter. Lost the soul heart that we got from Binky. We might not even need the perks pill against Isaac, honestly. But I'll pop it anyway because we have three of them. There we go. And let's go back, get the perks pill. We might as well. So it was a it was an amazing run, followed by a very scary run, but uh, you know, we made it work here on a Saturday, a stressful Saturday. Curses abound. Um, dead onion. I mean, our shot speed's already pretty bad, so I don't mind taking it and bringing it down even more. We got Sacred Heart. We got piercing shots and back-to-back -back runs. Oh my god, that's that. I mean, that's GG right there. <laughs> if it wasn't GG before, now it's definitely GG. Tech two with Sacred Heart. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, what a difference one item makes. One item can can erase all the all the wrongs. And when we needed it most, Sacred Heart came down and blessed us all so thank you for watching everyone if you enjoyed this double banger episode make sure you click the like button would love to see this video get over 3,000 likes to bring back the likes recounter and again we have a couple videos from this past week that are doing very very well so far let's keep it up mosh pit and have a great start to your new weekend here stay warm stay safe have fun and as always i'll see you all next time until then so long everybody Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Chronic Shadow, Troy Mason, and Relat01. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at Patreon.
Facebook.com slash Invicta.